Hi, this is Soul and Gemini. Uh, this is going to be your general forecast for the week of November 14th through the 20th, 2016. The reading is also on the messages coming forth will be for Gemini Moon and Gemini Rising. All right, so for some of you Geminis this upcoming week, you have the potential of dealing with the energy of the Three of Swords in the reverse. Now, prior to hitting record here, uh, Gemini, there's a lot of energy here. Uh, for you. So please bear with me as I'm trying to pull out these messages to make sense of this uh, energy that I'm that is being shown or that I have selected for you this upcoming week. Three of swords. Well, of course, the swords represent your energy and that of Aquarius and uh, Libra, male or female. Of course, also too, the three of swords relates to uh, having to, it's in the reverse, by the way. And the only time I like to see the uh, three of swords uh, at all is when it shows up in the reverse. So this is your starting energy. So it's overcoming some sort of conflict and personal uh, defeat, uh, possibly, and loss. Suffering some sort of loss, heartache. Um, it also could be involving... Uh, an ending to a love triangle since the threes represents that energy for me uh, a love triangle uh, getting over some sort of conflict uh, battles and stress uh, overcoming heartache um, this could involve a relationship uh, as I'm picking it up that uh, is at a distance either Gemini is at a distance or the person that Gemini is associated with or attached to is at a distance and somehow is bringing in or has brought in some sort of conflict uh, and stress. Okay, definitely getting a love triangle here and somebody's not a happy camper. Someone is dealing with a painful situation. Um, but the, or has, let me just say has dealt with a painful situation they may be still uh, dealing with that as the energy is lingering but with it showing up in the reverse that means that you're willing to either release that situation and let it go and move forward uh and like i said the only time i like this three of swords is when it shows up in the reverse in the upright then you know uh coupled with the other cards that i have drawn for you it, it's so good to see that the three of swords is in the reverse okay it's overcoming some sort of conflict possible de you know defeat um, stress uh, when it comes to relationship these are you know a general reading you have to apply the messages to whatever is close personal or significant for you uh, I am picking up even though this three of swords is a minor card a minor arcana it's powerful energy um, so like I said I don't like to um, draw it for any general readings or any love readings it's, it's a lot of stuff that could be going on with this um split separations uh it could indicate that it's a uh, some sort of finalization when it comes to divorce uh in the reverse um it's just like an ending of some sort of conflict and defeat think of it uh, that way okay now some of you this upcoming week may or may not feel like your world is turned upside down okay this is the major arcana the world card and it's in the reverse i still get positive energy from this and it's about having to be uh very um focused that you're not going to miss out on any opportunities that come your way this is what this card means for me uh in the upright it's all about opportunities this is the upright position, but it's showing up for you, Gemini, in the reverse. So it's a potential of not being focused enough and that some of you may feel like your world is about to turn upside down. Now, ironically, it sits next to this three of swords. So it may be a direct link connected to that energy, uh, but there is the potential of, you know, missing out on any opportunities that may be presented to you this way or this week i'm sorry um so stay focused uh, don't be inside your head too much this week uh pay attention to details and what's going on and you know around your surroundings and you have to think of the world card as uh energy that's constantly uh revolving okay with it being flipped there is an opportunity um to miss some opportunities and then some of you feeling like uh, your world has been turned upside down. Now, I don't know. Um, 
I'm getting the it could be related to the relationship or some sort of relationship issues that are going on. If it's the uh, three of swords and, and its energies in the reverse where there's a, a release of someone from a third third wheel or you were the third wheel and it's turned your world upside down. That's the kind of feel and the energy that I'm getting to present to you uh, in this video. So pay attention uh, because all the elements here are listed are shown in this um, in this card of the world card. So you have um, fire, you have water, you have air, and you have earth. So it could be anything associated with those energies attached to uh, opportunities being missed, relationships, um, you know, sort of falling apart. And just making you feel like your world has just been flipped upside down. Okay. Now. <clears throat> next card up in the middle of the week. Because there's something going on. You have all major arcanas. I just noticed that outside of this three of swords that's showing up in the reverse. So now we have the uh, major arcana, the hanged man. So there's some sort of air suspension going on. Uh, related to uh, possibly an event or there's something going on related to um, your way of thinking because you have to uh, keep in mind that the hangman relates to uh, perception. So some of you may be going into this week with altered perceptions or thinking about things that uh, may not may or may not be uh, concrete or real to you. It all depends on whatever that situation is. Uh, and then it could be for those Gemini's that I'm reading for waiting to uh, possibly hear about something important because of the world card. And that's all, in, you know, involving opportunities, feeling like you're suspended in midair. But I feel it's attached to an event or a situation that there's something going on that is not completely known to you at this particular time. And then I think prior to knowing or finding out what that is, it's altering your perception. OK. Last major arcana, three major arcana. So this week for some of you is going to be a very, very powerful week in terms of its energy. We have the death card. OK, the death card is all about uh, releasing the old and allowing the new to begin. So, again, you have to apply the messages and whatever is going on in your life, uh, you know, tie it into that situation. So if there's anything that you need to release and let go, this is the death card coming through saying, that you know, you have to uh, be able to do that because it is in the upright position. Uh, it could be something totally different if it was in the reverse, but it's showing up in the upright position. So it's Friday going into the weekend that some of this. It's about the transformation and transitioning, okay, uh, from the old to the new. So you think about it that way. Um, I don't necessarily always pick up negative energy when this death card is uh, actually like the death card, but I don't always pick up negative energy because it's, you have to think about the butterfly and, the, you know, the uh, caterpillar, excuse me, the caterpillar and the butterfly, how that transforms from that, uh, goes through that metaphor, uh, morphosis to become a beautiful butterfly, the caterpillar to the uh, butterfly. All right. So think about it in terms of having the transition or make some sort of major transformation in your life. This is the card that's coming through, uh, indicating that there's something that needs to be released and let go, whether that's a relationship signified by the three of swords that's showing up, or if, you know, if it's something else going on in your personal life that needs to, uh, um, be released and let go. And this could also include just your your own thought processes. Maybe you've been uh, thinking uh, about a situation in uh, one term. See, hence again, the hangman, error suspension, and the perception is uh, altered. So you may have been uh, holding on to an idea or a thought process, excuse me, a thought process that's not working for you. And, and it's, you know, time now for you to release that so that you can let newer ideals uh, come into form, you know, formation. So it's all about release, letting go, uh, being transformed uh, and allow the new to come your way. So whatever that is, and you have to apply it to your situation. So yeah, this was a very, very, 
very uh, powerful uh, reading in terms of its energy. So we'll see what comes through uh, this upcoming week. But this is your reading. Uh, Gemini, I want to wish you the best. And some of this relates to me because I have a Gemini moon. So we will see what happens um, the following week. Um, with that said, I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming week. I appreciate you all. Thank you for visiting my channel. Until the next time, Gemini, I wish you all love and light. Take care. Bye.